ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the star of our show, Terry. Hi, everyone. Welcome back to The Music of Me. I am your host, Terry, and I'm so excited because today we are diving headfirst into one of my all time favorite Broadway themes, Following Your Dreams. I mean, come on. Who doesn't love a good story where the underdog rises up, belts out a heart stopping tune, and suddenly, the world is full of hope and possibility. Broadway musicals have this magical way of grabbing us by the heartstrings and throwing us into a whirlwind of ambition, hope, and let's be real, some pretty epic dance moves along the way. And that's why I love them so much. Think about it. Characters are always chasing after something bigger, whether it's achieving their dreams, reaching for success, or trying to figure out just who the heck they are. And don't we all have those moments? I know I do. Where life feels like you're standing on the stage, the spotlight is shining, and you're like, okay, what's next? Well, today, we're shining a massive spotlight on those Broadway songs that remind us to dream big, fight for what we want, and never settle. These are the tunes that get us pumped to tackle life's obstacles. Because let's face it, Nothing gets you ready to conquer the world quite like a show-stopping anthem, right? We're talking about everything from Elphaba and Wicked dreaming of greatness to Pippin searching for his corner of the sky. And, of course, Don Quixote's epic quest to achieve the impossible. So grab your microphone and get ready to sing along because this episode is bursting with dream-chasing anthems that will have you feeling like you can conquer anything. Let's hit the spotlight and get started. And I am so excited about this episode because I love Broadway and I've always been a big dreamer. So songs about following your dreams are my favorite Broadway songs. All right, of course, I had to start with one of the most epic dream-chasing songs on Broadway, The Wizard and I, from my all-time favorite musical, Wicked. And let's talk about the character. It's just Elphaba. You know, my favorite character of all time. The green-skinned, future Wicked Witch of the West. I love her so much. Did you know that before she was labeled as Wicked, she was a total dreamer? Here's the deal. Elphaba spent her whole life as an outcast because of her striking green skin. I mean, can you imagine? It's like she was walking around with a neon sign screaming, Hey, I'm different. Everyone treats her like she doesn't belong, and it's tough. In this song, though, she experiences this incredible burst of hope and determination. She's like, one day, I'm going to meet the wizard, and when I do, he's going to see how special I really am. Her excitement in this song is so contagious. This is her moment to dream big, envisioning a life where she's finally accepted for who she is. And I know we've all wanted to be accepted for who we are. Elphaba imagines how meeting the wizard could change everything. And suddenly, she's not just the outcast. She's someone with immense potential who will be celebrated and respected. It's a transformative vision where she goes from invisible to incredible. And you can't help but cheer her on. The theme here is profound. This song captures the essence of dreaming big even when the world seems set against you. Elphaba believes that her differences, those very things that make her stand out, are what will ultimately make her amazing. She's like, yeah, I'm different, but that's going to be my superpower. And that's how we should all look at our differences. It's not something that should bring us down. It's something that should empower us. I mean, haven't we all had those moments where we felt misunderstood or like we don't quite fit in? I know I have. This song resonates deeply because it tells us to hold on to that dream, to embrace our uniqueness. It's a powerful reminder that one day, those qualities that set us apart might just be the keys to our success. Elphaba's journey is a testament to resilience, urging us all to dare to dream, no matter how impossible it may seem. And you all know that I love Elphaba and she's my favorite character and I've always connected with her because she is different, but then she ends up being powerful and I've always felt different. And lately I've been looking at my difference 
as power. It's going to make me special. Anything that makes you different is just makes you special. So look at it that way. And that's why I love this song so much. It's one of my favorite songs from Wicked. It's the one I like to sing the most, besides Defying Gravity, of course. Okay, friends, buckle up, because next, we are diving into a total anthem for dreamers. Corner of the Sky from Pippin. Now, Pippin is one of those characters who I think so many of us can relate to. He's young. He's ambitious, and he's on this endless quest to find out where he belongs in the world. Haven't we all had that moment where we're like, what's my purpose? Where's my place? Am I meant for something more? Pippin is literally standing there, staring out at the world and saying, there's got to be something bigger out there for me. In this song, Pippin is dreaming of finding his own corner of the sky, this perfect place where he'll finally feel like he belongs, where everything in his life will just click. He's surrounded by expectations and pressures, but he's like, nope, I'm not going to settle until I find what's right for me. And you can feel this determination. He's not wondering aimlessly. He's actively searching, driven by this idea that life has so much more to offer, and he's not giving up until he gets there. It's one of those songs that make you want to stand up, look around, and say, yeah, where is my corner of the sky? I'll find it if it's the last thing I do. The key message of this song? Corner of the Sky is for anyone who's ever felt out of place and who's ever dreamt of finding their purpose. Pippin reminds us that it's okay not to have it all figured out right away. What matters is that you keep searching, keep dreaming, and believe that your place is out there waiting for you. It's a call to keep going even when the road feels uncertain because we all have our own corner of the sky and it's just a matter of finding it. And honestly, how can we not love this song? It's like a motivational pep talk with a killer melody. And I did mention corner of the sky in my episode at the beginning of my podcast where I talked about my insecurity because I always connected with corner of the sky because he was always feeling different like all these songs really in this episode. They're all feeling different and wanting to find their place. But I love to sing Corner of the Sky and it just makes me, it just gives me hope that my dreams are going to come true. All right, everybody. Next up, we have Journey to the Past from Anastasia. And let me tell you, this one is an absolute showstopper. And I was lucky enough to see this song performed live at the Fox. So I know from experience that this song is amazing. Plus, I've listened to the cast recording from the musical and the soundtrack from the movie. It's always been one of my favorite songs from Anastasia. So picture this. Anastasia, or Anya as she's known, has been through so much. She doesn't even remember who she is. She lost her family when she was very young and got amnesia, so she's been searching for who she was most her entire life. All she has are these fragments of memories and this burning desire to find out where she came from. In this song, she sets off on an incredible journey, not just to discover her past, but to find out who she truly is. And oh my gosh, the way she sings it, you can just feel the hope the determination, and the excitement bubbling up inside her. And I have listened to the cast recording so many times. I have seen this performed live, so I know this song very well. It's always been one of my favorite songs. This song is all about chasing after those questions that we all have at some point. You know, where do I belong and what's my story? Anya is literally walking into the unknown with nothing but hope and a dream that she'll find the answers that she's been longing for. Journey to the Past isn't just about uncovering her history. It's about discovering her future and where she fits in the world. Every note feels like a step forward, like she's closer to that moment of finally knowing who she is. The key message of the song? It's simple. When we're lost, when we don't know where life is taking us, we have to trust the journey. And I love that message in this song. Anya teaches us that it's okay not to have all the answers as long as you keep moving forward with hope in your heart. So always keep that hope alive. 
This song says, don't be afraid to search for who you are because your past and future are connected and that journey is going to lead you somewhere beautiful. Seriously, if you ever need a boost of courage to chase your own path, throw on Journey to the Past and get ready to feel it. And you'll be singing along by the end, guaranteed. Like I said, I love this song so much. The Broadway cast recording, Anastasia, is played by Christy Altamar. And I have mentioned her briefly in one of my episodes because she sang one of my favorite songs about self-love. She is a phenomenal singer, and I love her, and she does this song justice, and the movie version is good, too. I mean, I like all versions of Journey Journey to the Past, and I have sung this song so many times. I'm pretty sure I have this song memorized. It's one of my favorites, like I said. All right, get ready for a powerhouse of a song because next up is Astonishing from Little Women, another one of my favorite songs that I sing all the time. And if there's anyone who embodies fierce ambition and defying the norm, it's Joe March. Let's be real, Joe is not your average 19th century lady. She's got big dreams and she's not about to settle for a traditional life of marriage and tea parties. Because that doesn't sound fun at all, does it? Oh no, this girl wants to be a famous writer, and she's ready to break down every barrier in her way to make that happen. In Astonishing, Jo has this huge mic drop moment where she proclaims her desire to live a life that's anything but ordinary. She's bursting with creativity, passion, and this bursting need to do something meaningful with their life. The best part? She's not afraid to stand up and say, I'm going to be astonishing. It's this incredible declaration of independence where she's basically telling the world, I'm going after my dreams no matter what society expects of me. And you can just feel the fire in her voice as she sings, like she's ready to take on the world and win. Astonishing is all about ambition, fearlessness, and refusing to let anyone define your life. Joe is telling us that if you want to have an extraordinary life, you've got to demand it, dream it, and go after it with everything you've got. It's like a battle cry for dreamers everywhere. And honestly, if this song doesn't get you fired up to chase your own wild dreams, I don't know what will. Joe is a total inspiration, reminding us that we all have the power to create our own path. And it can be astonishing, too. I first heard this song on the Little Women cast recordings done by Sutton Foster, one of my favorite Broadway people of all time. I mean, Sutton Foster is amazing. And actually, I did get to watch Little Women on Broadway HD, and Sutton Foster was in the role. So I got to see her in the role. So that was cool. And this has always been my favorite song from that musical. It's not it's not one of the big time well known musicals, but I love it. And I love the songs in it. And I love Sutton Foster. And Astonishing always makes me want to chase after my dreams. It's very, very inspirational. All right. So let's take a brief pause now for my interesting fact of the week, and then I'm gonna talk about some more songs when we come back. Welcome to my interesting fact of the week. Let's talk about the grand differences between musicals and real life when it comes to chasing dreams. In the magical world of Broadway, characters seem to effortlessly achieve their dreams after a dramatic song and a dance number. One minute, they're belting out their ambitions on stage, and the next, they're twirling around in a confetti shower living their best lives. But let's be real. What does that look like in our everyday lives? Instead of launching into a high-energy dance number about our future, we're more likely sprawled on the couch in our pajamas, snacking and scrolling through travel blogs, wishing we were sipping cocktails by the ocean. And honestly, how many of us have fantasized about booking that dream trip only to realize that we can't find our shoes under the couch? While the characters in musicals have the courage to take action, we're just trying to muster the motivation to move from the couch to the refrigerator. 
So the next time you find yourself dreaming big while comfortably nestled in your living room, just remember, in the real world, it's all about those little steps before you can take the stage. So take those steps and follow your dreams. And now, back to our episode. Welcome back, everybody. Now we're going to talk about a song from one of my other favorite musicals, Newsies. Also one I've seen at the Fox. So grab your cowboy hats because we're heading to Santa Fe. Well, at least Jack Kelly is. This is the moment in Newsies where Jack dreams of leaving behind the gritty, tough life in New York City and escaping to the wide open spaces of Santa Fe. I mean, can you blame him? He's slinging newspapers on the streets, dodging danger left and right, and all he wants is a taste of freedom, a place where the sun shines, the air is fresh, and the struggles of the city life are a distant memory. He paints this beautiful picture of Santa Fe being his ticket to a better life, one where he's finally in control. Jack is not just dreaming about an ordinary escape. He's dreaming of a place where he can thrive, be free from all the weight on his shoulders, and start fresh. You can feel his yearning in every word of Santa Fe. He's got this optimism, this hope that there's something more for him out there, something bigger and better, if only he could get away. It's a song that hits you right in the heart, especially if you've ever felt stuck and longed for a change. Jack is basically singing, There's got to be something better than this. And you believe him because, honestly, who hasn't dreamt of packing up and heading somewhere where life feels a little more like freedom? And I've also got to mention Catherine's song in this musical, Watch What Happens, because it's like the perfect companion to Jack's dream. She's also chasing something big, but her dream is making a difference as a writer. She's got this fire to use her words to shake things up and change the world, just like Jack wants to break free and find his own version of happiness. They're both dreamers, but in their own way. Jack with his vision of freedom and Catherine with her fight to make an impact. It's such a perfect balance of dreams coming from different angles, and I love how these songs reflect that. The key message in Santa Fe, it's all about hope. No matter how tough things get, there's always a dream of something better. Jack reminds us that even in the darkest moments, we can look to the horizon and dream of a brighter, freer future. It's like his personal anthem of optimism. And trust me, after hearing it, you'll be booking a ticket to Santa Fe in your mind too. I know I have. I've always wanted to go to Santa Fe. Before I get to the next song, though, I do want to tell you a little story about the song Watch What Happens, Catherine's song in this musical Newsies. My niece, as you know, she's a singer, and she used to do these little competitions. I remember this song because I helped her with the performance part, and then I also took her shopping to buy her outfit. And she staged it so perfectly. And in the competition, she actually won first place that time. So every time I hear this song, I remember my niece singing it. And I have a great video of that. And that's why I had to include this song in this episode. Okay, people, now get ready to break out your inner optimist because it's time to talk about I Have a Dream from Mama Mia. And let me tell you, This song is like a warm hug for your soul. It's sung by Sophie, the ultimate dreamer, and she's got one thing on her mind, figuring out who her dad is. Can you imagine? She's about to get married, and all she wants is that missing piece of her family to walk her down the aisle. So, what does she do? She invites three potential dads to her wedding. Casual, right? But here's the thing. Sophie's not just dreaming about family. This song is her anthem of hope and belief that if she follows her heart, everything will fall into place. She's got this infectious positivity that says, I know the road might be a little wild, but if I trust the journey, it'll all work out. And that's what makes I Have a Dream so magical. It's not about certainty, it's about faith. Sophie believes in the power of her dreams, even when the outcome is completely up in the air. The best part? 
you can't help but sing along and feel like your dreams are totally possible too. Sophie's out here basically telling us, if you hold on to hope and follow your instincts, you'll get where you're meant to go. It's like the ultimate pep talk wrapped up in a song. The message behind this song? Dream big, stay hopeful, and trust that the universe has your back. No matter how uncertain things may seem, there's always a chance that everything you've been wishing for is just around the corner. Sophie's journey is proof that sometimes, even the most unexpected paths can lead to exactly what you need. So take a page from Sophie's book, keep dreaming, and who knows? You might just find your happy ending when you least expect it. Cue the ABBA-inspired dancing. As you know, I love ABBA, and I love Mamma Mia. And yes, I will be doing an episode about Mamma Mia sometime in the future. I've always loved this song. I mean, I love all the songs in Mamma Mia because there are ABBA songs, and I love ABBA. But I've always loved this song because it's all about dreaming. And I'm a big dreamer. Okay, everybody, hold on to your magic carpets because now we're about to dive into A Million Miles Away from Aladdin. And yes, I did a whole episode about Aladdin. So if you know Aladdin, you know he's always had his eyes on the horizon, dreaming of something more. And this song captures that feeling perfectly. I mean, who wouldn't want to escape life as a street rat and soar off to new adventures, right? In A Million Miles Away, Aladdin is picturing a future where he's not stuck on the streets, dodging guards, and living day to day. Nope, he's dreaming of freedom, adventure, and let's be honest, a life where he can be with Jasmine and live his best life. He's imagining a whole new world, pun intended, where his struggles are behind him and anything is possible. This song isn't just about escaping his circumstances, it's all about believing that he's destined for something so much bigger than what he's been handed. Aladdin might be a diamond in the rough, but he's got ambition and hope sparking through every word. And can we talk about how relatable this is? We've all had those moments where we feel stuck, dreaming of a life where we're free to chase our passions and live out our wildest dreams. Aladdin is like, I know there's more out there for me, and I deserve it. And honestly, don't we all? It's about daring to believe that we're worthy of greatness, no matter where we come from or what obstacles stand in our way. The key message? A Million Miles Away is all about the power of hope and ambition. Aladdin is telling us that even when life seems tough, it's okay to dream of something better. Because with a little faith, love, and a lot of determination, you can turn those dreams into reality. So if you've ever felt like you're on the outside looking in, take a cue from Aladdin and dream big. Because adventure, love, and freedom could just be a wish away. I love Aladdin, and like I said, I have seen this one at the Fox too. Uh, This was one of the best shows I've ever seen. And like I said, I did a whole episode about Aladdin, and I'll link that in the show notes if you want to listen to it. Okay, my fabulous dreamers, we have arrived at the final song that I had to talk about in this episode. I mean, could I even do an episode about Broadway songs about following your dreams without this one? Absolutely not. It's the ultimate anthem for anyone chasing a dream that seems way out of reach. The Impossible Dream from Man of La Mancha. Picture this. Don Quixote, the lovable, slightly delusional knight, is off on his wild quest to restore chivalry and save the day. Basically, he's out there tilting at windmills and making sure everyone knows that he's going to achieve greatness no matter what. I mean, sure, his quest might seem impossible, like really impossible, but that's the beauty of it. Don Quixote is the poster child for believing in the impossible and pushing forward. Even when the world is looking at you like, really? Are you sure about that? In The Impossible Dream, Don Quixote belts out this epic song about striving for greatness even when the odds are stacked against you. It's not about whether he actually succeeds in the end. It's about the fact that he's out there giving it everything he's got, refusing to let anything stop him. 
there's this nobility, this sense of honor in just trying and going after your dreams no matter how wild or unattainable they seem. And let's be real, who hasn't had a dream that felt totally out of reach at some point? We all have our impossible quests, but Don Quixote reminds us that there's something powerful and inspiring about the pursuit itself. It's about daring to go after what your heart truly wants, even when the world says it's impossible. So the key message here, dream big, dream wild, and don't let anything or anyone convince you that your dreams aren't worth chasing. Because as Don Quixote shows us, there's glory in the pursuit, no matter where you end up. The impossible dream is all about the courage to keep going, even when the odds feel overwhelming. And honestly, if Don Quixote can charge headfirst into an impossible quest, what's stopping the rest of us from chasing our dreams? Now go out there and conquer your own impossible dreams, because if Don Quixote can dream the impossible, so can you. I mean, did I think a long time ago that I would have a podcast where people actually listened to me talk about music? No, I did not. But I went after it. And I'm hoping it grows big and that it's not my impossible dream. So I'm going to go for it. Even if nobody listens to it but 10 people. At least somebody's listening to it, right? It's more than I could have hoped for. All right, so after spending this entire episode hyping up Broadway songs that inspire us to follow our dreams, I thought I'd leave you with a little joke. Now, if you're really looking for motivation, there is one song you should definitely avoid adding to your Follow Your Dreams playlist. And it's from School of Rock, and it's called, wait for it, Give Up Your Dreams. In this hilarious number, Dewey's friends stage an intervention of sorts, trying to snap him back to reality. They're not on board with Dewey's whole rock star lifestyle and basically tell him he needs to stop chasing after his wild dreams and get a real job. Yep, they actually sing, give up your dreams before they drag you down. It's the ultimate buzzkill anthem. Of course, this is totally ironic because we all know that School of Rock is about empowering kids to follow their passion for music. And Dewey's journey is about encouraging them to pursue their dreams. But this moment, it's so over-the-top funny, especially since Dewey's friends are basically saying, stop living in fantasy land. So while Dewey's friends might have given up on their dreams, I highly recommend you ignore their advice if you're out there chasing yours. If you ever need a reminder of what not to do, just give this song a listen and have a good laugh. Because really... If you're going to chase your dreams, you might as well do it with a sense of humor, right? I mean, everything's better with a sense of humor. And that's a wrap on today's episode on Broadway songs that inspire us to follow our dreams, and one that definitely doesn't. Remember that no matter what your dream is, always follow your heart. And if anyone tells you to give up, just throw on one of those great Broadway tunes and keep pushing forward. But maybe avoid give up your dreams unless you're in the mood for a good laugh. I mean, I like to listen to this song anytime. I mean, it's hilarious. Thanks so much for joining me on this musical journey of ambition and hope. I hope these songs inspired you as much as they inspired me. For next week, I'm diving into something totally different. I've been curious about Eurovision ever since I did the Celine Dion episode because she won at Eurovision. And I was like, What is it? How does it work? And why are people so obsessed with it? So I figured why not share what I learned with all of you. So tune in next week for an episode all about the wild, wonderful world of Eurovision. Until then, keep dreaming, keep believing, and of course, keep the music in you alive. See you next time on The Music in Me. Peace out, everybody. This has been The Music in Me podcast. Subscribe now so you don't miss a beat.